Hey guys, so today I'm making a very exciting video in my opinion, um, and it's something that I've talked about in a couple other videos that I've been wanting to do, but today I'm going to a bookstore for the first time ever. So I'm gonna go in a little bit, but before um, we head over there, I thought I would kind of preface like what this video is and what a bookstore is and why I'm going and what I'm going to be bringing to the bookstore. So if you don't know what a bookstore is, because when I was telling my friends today that they're like, what are you doing today? I was like, I'm gonna go to a bookstore. They're like, a what? And then they're like, do you mean Costco? And I was like, I don't mean Costco. So I've been wanting to go to a bookstore for a while now just because you can get things package free. You bring your own jars or containers or bags or anything like that and you fill them up there and you pay for however much it weighs and that's about it. So if you're trying to be more sustainable and zero waste like I am, it's a really good opportunity to get things that you want but maybe it's it's a more guilt-free way of getting things and it's kind of the idea of like the bulk section in a grocery store where they have bulk like oatmeal and granola and things like that. A bulk store that's just dedicated to that has that but to a much larger extent. I also looked at them on like Google just to find like I just googled a bulk store near me and I found this one but on their like Google images I saw that they had like a soap section and they had Dr. Bronner soap so I'm hoping to get a refill on that because I talked about that in like my summer favorite video. Also they've like hand soap or hand lotion or anything like that, that'd be nice to refill on. But I'm just, I'm really wanting to go and I think it'll be good to get an idea of what they have so that way maybe once a month I can make a trip out there and fill up on anything that I need instead of getting things just at the regular store and using plastics when I don't need to. Or even just waste in general. Like I said, like spices you can get in a glass container but bulk is better because it's just container free. Like it, there's no um, packaging or anything. So yeah, I'll show you kind of what I'm bringing too just because you have to prepare in advance. Like I'm gonna bring a bunch of mason jars. I'm gonna bring regular ones half gallon ones and tiny ones. I'm sure they'll have containers there. Like I'm sure they have things there, but you'll probably just have to buy them. And I have a bunch of jars, so I'm just gonna bring them. But yeah, so I'm gonna gather everything that I want to and I'll show you that. Okay, I know this isn't as nice of a background as the intro was, but that's fine. So I have in front of me what looks like chaos. But the thing is, is I'm not sure how to prepare for going here because I've never been to a bookstore. So that's why I'm recording this journey is to show you what I'm doing and what I would do differently next time I go because I'm sure there'll be a couple of those. So first off, I'm bringing a large bag. This is just like one of those Vans bags that they sometimes offer you and I got one one time. It's just like pretty narrow and long so I can fit a bunch of jars in here. And then I am bringing four of these large, I think they're half gallon. Like I just figured I'll bring four big ones because I'd rather have too big of a mason jar and just not fill it up all the way than a bunch of small ones and then be like, dang it, I wish I brought my half gallon one. <laughs> this probably is overkill and I'm gonna look like a crazy person, but it's fine, I don't know what to expect. Cause I'm also assuming like what they'll do is they'll tear the weight on each of these mason jars and then I'll be able to fill them up. Because kind of the idea of a bulk store is like that they're also being ethical, like behind the scenes, like they're not getting products with a bunch of plastic, they're getting anything local that they can. So the idea is they're also doing their part and so I would think they would allow me to bring my own jars. I'm bringing two just, um, what size are these? 24 ounce? Maybe, I don't know, this size. And then one of the most classic jar. It looks like it would be like 16 ounces. And then I'm gonna bring four small jars. There is like a spice that I want or something small that's powdery. I am bringing just four of these so I can put them in there. And then I'm bringing a good amount of muslin bags. I doubt I'm gonna get produce or anything, but I figured in case they have something that I want that's not liquid or powder, I'll bring some bags. The idea is hopefully they're, they encourage this sort of thing of bringing your own container and that this isn't like frowned upon and they're like, ma'am, please leave. But yep, that's everything I'm packing. So let's roll. Just really quickly, so I was just looking at their website to look up the address and stuff. And on their website, it says they encourage you bringing your own container because they want to use less packaging. And they said anything that's like hard, hard sided they said so they said for example jars plastic bottles etc most of it's organic and if not it's all natural and it's they try their best to locally source things and they have anything from spices to to food to pet supplies to personal care to anything like that so it seems really cool and i'm excited and after reading that that made me feel better about bringing all of my jars and things like that so i'm not gonna be a freak it's gonna be accepted
so I made it back from the bulk store and I just thought I'd show you what I got and what my experience was like. Even though I don't have too much to say about it, I'll still talk about it. They did have a system where if you did bring your own containers that you bring it to like the service desk or basically just the cash register and they would weigh and tear everything before you purchase anything. But since I brought all jars, they just memorized like how much a wide mouth 16 ounce jar weighs. So I didn't have to do it with any of mine, but they did have that system in place if you did want to bring your own containers that weren't at an equal weight. And they did have a bunch of containers there if you did go last minute or anything like that. So it was really cool. They had a lot of food items. They had a lot of like rices and pastas, snacks, DIY trail mix stations, spices, flour, sugar. They had all sorts of food stuff, but my interest was more so in the not food stuff just because I do live close to Sprouts that they don't have as much as a, you know, a large display as this place did. It still is a good amount of food, so I was more interested in they had hand soap and body soap and they had toothpaste and teas and detergents and cleaners and all sorts of stuff. They also had a large pet section. I don't think I recorded any of it just because... I don't have a pet, so I wasn't buying anything, but if you needed like cat litter, or dog food or anything like that, they had it. So I will probably make a trip out to that place once or once a month or every couple months just because the idea is I, I'm buying in bulk so I don't have to go all the time. But once I run out of like Tide Pods or run out of like my all-purpose cleaner, I would much rather go there to refill it than just buy anyone. And also it's supporting local business, so that's a cool thing too. So anyways, I will now show you what all I got. Each thing that you got had a number and they had these little stickers so I just like would write down the sticker and put on the top of the mason jar. I didn't fill all of these all the way just because I figured I'll just get enough to fill the jars that I have of like I have reusable just glass pumps that I'll fill with this lotion. I didn't fill this up all the way just because it's a little unnecessary and also maybe I'll want a different scent or something by the time I run out so this should last a while. And I didn't actually t get a receipt so I'm not sure how much everything cost but everything that I got and we got two food items that I won't show you because I left in the car but it all cost $70 so I'm not sure exactly again how much everything costs. Probably more expensive than buying this stuff at a normal store. I have like these glass pumps near the kitchen and the bathroom and I'll have one full of soap and one full of lotion. So this was just one of the lotions they had. I think it was like mint, not eucalyptus, lemon mint or something. Oh, grapefruit mint. That's what it was because it smells like grapefruit. Yeah, I'll just be using this to refill jars that I already had. If I had planned really well, I would have brought the empty pumps to just directly right then fill with lotion. I just didn't know how it all worked. So that's what I do next time, but for now, I'll just use this jar to transfer into different containers. This is full of rainbow popcorn. We do have some at our sprouts, but just thought it'd be fun to get some. So this is just not a ton of it, but just some rainbow popcorn. Just because we pop our own popcorn in like a bowl instead of buying like bagged popcorn. Way to reduce waste. This, it was like strawberry, what was it? Strawberry hemp granola, I think it was. They had a bunch of different types of granola. Again, didn't get a ton, just because too, this was the first time and I didn't want to go like too hard and then be like, oh, I spent so much money and I'm not like, what if I didn't like the strawberry granola, you know? So I'm just, I didn't fill up every jar to the top. This is Dr. Bronner's. So I, again, didn't get a ton. This will last me a long time though because Dr. Bronner's is so concentrated. They had like almost every scent. This is the rose one is what we decided on, but it's kind of fun to mix it up. They had, it seemed like all the scents that I've ever seen. But yeah, so this is my refill of Dr. Bronner's Castle Soap. This is actually a jar that I bought there. So this was one, it cost, let's see, it cost $1.69. So pretty cheap for just a little jar. So this has honey in it. I've been trying to buy local honey and I bought some recently, but the only local honey came in plastic bottles and we make overnight oats a lot and tea and things like that. So honey's good on all that stuff. So we go through honey pretty fast. So this is just a jar that I will use. There's um, a couple grocery stores nearby that's closer than this that also has like bulk honey. So this will just be the honey jar and I'll just read fill it as needed and then just use like a spoon or something to get it out because they have like plastic squirt bottles but I feel like those would be hard to clean out because honey is thick and am I shaking this camera oh I am anyways yes so this is honey this was a cute jar also I liked this one so is this the Dr. Browner's then what would this be wait I'm so confused oh one of these is hand soap well let's see which one smells like rose I don't remember I should have probably like on the green sticker put the number and then also like what it was Ooh, the rose one kind of smells funky. But this is rose, so yes, Dr. Brown. So this was hand soap. All the hand soaps, they had one name brand that I'd seen before, but otherwise, I don't know if it's just like local companies or anything like that, but this was like a 
I forget what scent I got. What is that, like citrusy lemon? I'm not sure. But yeah, so this is hand soap that again, I'll do the same thing with the lotion that when those bottles fill out, I'll just refill them with either of these. But yeah, they didn't just have like one soap. They had a bunch of different flavors or scents or anything like that. So that's nice, you at least get to pick what you like and you don't have to be stuck with the one soap they have. This is a certain type of rice and I cannot remember what type of rice it is, but it's a special rice that Josh wanted to make in a recipe. So this is a pomegranate sugar scrub. They also had a sea salt scrub that I was interested in more, but it was like in the back and I didn't feel like grabbing it. But this, I just put in a little thing just because this is nice to like exfoliate your legs before or after you shave them. So I got this, I just got a little, little one of it. But it was nice because it was in like this big tub and they had spatulas. I didn't record me filling this one up and most of the stuff I didn't record, but they just had all these spatulas and so you're able to kind of scoop out a clump and then put it in this. So they, they do have good systems of filling up your own containers and stuff, which is nice. I think that's it. Oh, kind of sad. <laughs> well, cool, that's everything I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff and it that was $70, so that is expensive, but you know what? <laughs> that's okay. Did get cashews and pineapple that we just snacked on in the car and stuff. So it is expensive, but to me it's worth it and I would rather spend money like this than just like get a $2 like Target brand soap and use the plastic and stuff like that. This hand soap's gonna last me a long time, like we don't go through soap that fast or you know, something like that. And yeah, next time I do go, I would be interested in getting some of their like laundry detergent or um, like dishwashing fluid or anything like that. I'm more interested in the cleaning products, not necessarily the food, although I did get a couple food items. So yeah, I guess that's this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If you didn't know what a bookstore was, then maybe this shines some light on it. Or if you've never gone and wondered what it was like or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of fun to expand my knowledge and what I can do to be more zero waste and support locally and things like that. This is really fun to do and I wanna keep doing things like this and yeah, hopefully it inspires you to do the same. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.